Who actually built the deep dark cities? Just quickly guys, don't forget to drop a like if you do enjoy this video and if you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe and comment down below. It really helps the video out. Plus, make sure to stick around till the end of the video because we'll have this week's Haven MC discount code at the end. So we've got a few options. We've got the Wardens, obviously they live there, so, you know, obvious pick. We've got whoever built all of the abandoned mineshafts, all of the strongholds, and all of the spawners, which, to be fair, you can argue aren't all built by the same people. And whoever built all the nether fortresses, and all of the end cities. Me personally, I think you could discard the people who created all of the things to do with the nether, and all the things to do with the end. I think whatever made them is from their dimensions, and we don't have to worry about including them in this debate. Okay, so that means that it's between the Warden and the people who created the mine shafts and all the dungeons and all of that stuff. So I think first we should have a look at what the name Warden actually means. So, according to Google, the definition of Warden is a person responsible for the supervision of a particular place or activity or for enforcing the regulations associated with it. So by the looks of things, the Warden is guarding something. And you guys know I think there's a portal in the deep dark cities. But just because the Wardens are guarding the portals doesn't mean that they built the cities around them. I think we should take a closer look at how the cities are actually built. So we can see that the deep dark cities are made almost entirely from deep slate brick. As you can see some of it has crumbled and turned into cobbled deep slate. But you can tell that it was all once deep slate. It gets a lot more interesting when you look a bit closer and see that the whole city is covered in candles and soul fire lamps. Now this blends in and it looks completely normal until you realize that the wardens are actually blind. They wouldn't need light because they can't see anything. If you explore the cities as well, at some places you can actually find skulls. Now this isn't a warden's skull, these are human skulls. And these skulls aren't just placed anywhere. They're placed on bits that look like memorials. So from this, I'd say we can conclude that humans, or at least some sort of human-like figures, built the deep dark cities. But what happened to them? From looking at the deep dark city, my conclusion is that the Wardens actually came through the portal. The humans, or the humanoids, opened this portal to this dimension, not knowing what was on the other side, and the Wardens came through. I also think that the Wardens aren't meant to be there and they did come through the portal because if you look at the Skulk in the Deep Dark biome you can see it looks more like a cancer that is growing in these biomes rather than an actual biome itself. You can see that Skulk is located in areas around chests and areas of popular interest where people would go and make lots of noise from, say, opening the chests, and then the Wardens would come along, kill them, and then of course with the Skulk Catalysts, the Skulk would then grow from there. But you might be asking now, how did the Warden find all the humans if there's wool all over the cities? Surely the wool would mask the sound that the humans are making. I think that the wool was placed there by the Wardens. Now, Imagine you're running on stone, you're going to be making a lot of noise and that noise is going to be echoing from bouncing around on the stone. I think that the Warden used that to locate all the people, and then, once all the people were dead, they put the wall down themselves, gathered from other areas and mine shafts and whatnot. Because the Wardens see with their ears, walking around being a big Warden, they're going to make loads of noise and that's going to be excruciating for them. As you can see, Wardens attack bats because bats are so loud. They don't want to be hearing the sounds of their footsteps echoing around the areas that they inhabit. So they placed the wall down to mask those sounds, but they still left the walls stone so they can still hear sounds from other things bouncing around. So this is what I believe anyway, and this also explains why in chests there are snowballs, people who have figured out how the wardens see, because of course, when they first came through the portals, people wouldn't realize that they could only hear you, so of course they'd be going crazy and they'd be running around and they'd be making a lot of noise, but people who figured out that the wardens see with their ears will place the snowballs and whatnot in the different chests. So people who do end up in the cities will be able to distract the wardens and then hopefully get themselves out. So yeah, that's what I think the law behind the Deep Dark Cities is. Let me know your own opinions and thoughts on the Deep Dark Cities down in the comment section. 
below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. So just to recap, I think it's the people who came before Steve who opened a portal in these cities and then the Wardens came through and killed the people, causing the Skulk to grow. And then the Wardens walking around the cities, they couldn't stand the sounds of their feet hitting the, hitting the hard floor. So they put the wall down. Let me know if you agree with this theory. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget this week's store.havenmc.co.uk discount code is DEEPDARK. I'll see you in the next one. Peace!